I want to discuss two situations where weightlessness can occur. Um, one is in an elevator um, which is accelerating down. And that would occur if, for example, the cable holding the elevator aloft had been cut. So let's, let's compare two situations. Um, one in an elevator that's stationary um, or more generally is, is not accelerating and uh, the second one in, a, in an elevator which, which, which is accelerating downwards uh, uh, at g meters per second per second. So first of all in the elevator that is not accelerating let's say that mass uh, m is on a scale and the scale is on the floor of the elevator and the question is what um, reading does the scale register um, and so if we, if we draw a force diagram um, using y up as my uh, coordinate uh, positive direction that would uh, give me from this free body diagram n minus mg equals zero um, and therefore n which is equal to the force of the scale on m um, equals mg which is its normal weight and uh, the force of m on the scale which is going to be the reading registered on the scale is going to be minus n so in other words it's going to be pushing pushing down and the conclusion is that the um, weight registering on the scale is the true weight on the other hand in the elevator that's accelerating downwards um, I'm going to um, um, draw the n in this second force diagram shorter than the mg because the net force has to be down because the acceleration of everything inside the elevator is down. This is a free body diagram for m that I'm doing. Um, and so if I write the um, Newton's a second um, in the y direction for this that would be n minus mg is equal to minus m times g. Um, so what I'm what I'm essentially saying here is that uh, this the a that is normally here is simply minus g because the elevator and everything inside of it is accelerating down at g. And so um, solving this equation for n gives n equal to zero newtons. So I should have drawn this to be um, no length at all. Um, that means that an, an elevator that's um, accelerating down at the acceleration of gravity, um, a person standing on the scale, if a person was standing on a scale, the scale would register zero newtons. There is no weight registered on the scale. It, uh, his or her apparent weight is zero. Okay, and then uh, my, my second example is an astronaut um, orbiting around Earth, in a, say in a space station. So say a space station some distance d above the center of the Earth. Remember, we always have to use the center for using Newton, Newton's law of gravitation. Um, so um, Newton number two um, in the y direction, I'm drawing y, y uh, radially downward at this instant, um, radially downward from where m is in its orbit uh, towards the center of the earth um, is by the law of gravitation equal to big G times the mass of the earth times uh, m divided by the separation distance squared. There is no normal for force acting on M. This is the only force acting on M. And uh, therefore, M's apparent weight is also zero newtons. Um, so if there's no normal force acting on something, by Newton's third law, there will be no weight registered. Um, I'll do one or two, two different experiments in class about weightlessness because it's, a, it's an interesting um, um, idea. Um, one that few of us have experienced before. Um, but on the other hand, you're weightless when you fall, and if you uh, if you jump off um, a high place, you are in the instant of time when you're falling. You're doing the same thing as this elevator um, shows. Um, you would be weightless in that um, instant of uh, of time as well.